Hey devs and designers, how you doing? Today we just saw a new about Unreal Engine 5 is not going to be free anymore after a particular amount of time. So what that means? Let's dive together and let's see what is this about it. Okay, so if you don't know, there was a Unreal Pass 2023 conference right now, and uh, Epic Games CEO Tim Sweeney talking about it, those all recent events about Unreal Engine's future and some Unity pricing stuff. He did not mention Unity names, but he talked like some other game engines. But the important part of this speech is he addressed that Unreal will be not free for non-game developer users. So what that means, that means uh, he mentioned that if you are a video game developer and if you're still using one of those Unreal Engine versions like 5.2, 5.3, this all user agreement is still valid and still same. And if you're making games with Unreal Engine, you're still going to pay 5% after you made over $1 million. So as you see in here, but this change will be for non-game developers. What that means, let's say you're using Unreal Engine for filmmaking, you're using Unreal Engine for architecture stuff, some FFX or I don't know, some automation systems or you're making simulations, maybe you're making some desktop apps for different industries. There will be a price for you per seat, as much as I understand. It is still not so clear that who is going to pay how much or if you're making this as a hobbyist, for example, you're making cinematics in Unreal Engine. Are you going to pay something even if you don't earning any money? Or this is just for movie studios, like for example, Unreal Engine used in Mandalorian, for example. Is this new upcoming change will be only valid for like big studios who's making big monies? Or is it will be for everyone? I'm still not sure. But he was mentioning about the CEO, Tim Sweeney. It is not going to be unusually expensive or unusually inexpensive. So what that means He said like, like Maya or Photoshop, like a subscription model. But I checked Unreal Engine licensing options right now. Right now it's most of people using standard license as like I am, I'm using this too, which is we not paying anything to Unreal Engine just because we're using it. But there's also enterprise program. It is for non-game professionals seeking premium support, private training and or custom licensing terms. And it's 1,500 American dollar per seat per year. So we don't know how it will be in the future. Are all those filmmakers like me, like you, like us, are going to pay this money for every year to Unreal Engine just because we making some shots or we using for some FFX. I'm still not sure. I will leave this article into the description so you can read in there. If you ask my thoughts after this Unity pricing changes and there was a huge impact on the social media about it, I was not expecting to Epic just shows off and they're changing their pricing models too for even for not all developers, actually not for developers, but some other people who are using Unreal Engine. Uh, I think it's still, I hope it's not going to affect so much to hobbyists like us that we are making some cinematics and some other stuff. Uh, I'm also making games with Unreal Engine 2 and the game development part is still okay. I think like 5% over 1 million revenue is okay. But right now in the industry, there's a lot of people who want to make uh, cool shots, cool level designs, and they're sharing their works 
in the social media or they're selling their assets in the marketplace. What is going to happen for them? They need to pay this $1,500 per year. I'm not sure. We will see. I hope this will be only if you're making movies and you're selling them or you selling tickets to show it or something. Because if it is for even hobbyists, it is not going to be good for the Unreal Engine community. Because lots of people using Unreal Engine, it's so powerful. And for sure, it's for free, right? we all using that. There is some other tools like Cinema 4D or Houdini that you can use for FFX or cinematics, but they are not free. So that's why the Unreal Engine community, at least in the hobbyist level, is much bigger. So we will see. We will read the updates. If, there, if anything happens, I will make a new video and let you know what is going on. So you can write your thoughts on the comments. Let's discuss together. And if you have any idea how it will be, so maybe we can learn from each other. So this video was unusual from my channel's concept, but I just want to let you know that some things are going to change in the future. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, see you all. I hope you all doing great.